Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. When last we left off, Constable Zelna was questioning lots of people on board about the murder of the Baroness. And now we shall talk to Matty, and probably play some shovelboard. Hello there, partner. Hello. Hi. Are you alright? Uh-huh. How are you doing? Have you recovered from our adventure? Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Zellner? Hmm? What's going on? What do you mean? Everybody's acting so strange. And there's tape across that door. I saw that in a movie once. You don't have to be worried. Is it about the man from the train? It might be about the thief, yes. Hmm. Haven't you caught him yet? I'm working on it. Okay. I think he knows what's going on. I heard you and your mom used to argue a lot. We did. Everything was bad. The house, school, the other kids. We didn't have much money, and I was always alone. You do know that your mother would love to have been with you, don't you? She had to go out to work to earn money. She wouldn't have had to, if Dad were still around. Hmm. And how do you get along with her now? I'm always happy when we do something together on vacation. She has more time for me now, and I like my boarding school. I have lots of friends, and the teachers aren't so bad. Hmm. Let's talk about, uh, Lady Westmacott. Lady Westmacott is all by herself in the saloon. Maybe you'd like to visit her later. Sure. The lady tells exciting stories. I know. She's my favorite writer. She told me that it's not much fun to write detective novels. She'd rather write something else, but her fans always want the same thing. They made her rich and famous. I told her to write what she wants to write. If it's good, someone will buy it. And if not, at least she had fun writing it. Then she smiled and nodded. She said it was a good idea. Hmm, it is a very good idea. Always write what you want to write. Your mother and Professor Lucien seem to be on very good terms with each other. Mm. Don't you like him? Don't know. He seems to be very nice. I guess. Hmm. Am I detecting some, uh, worry there from Matty? What are you playing there? I'm playing shuffleboard. At least I'm trying to. Never played it before. It's easy. Professor Lucian explained it to me. Oh. And who won? We didn't play. You didn't want to play with him, did you? Do you want to play a game with me? Sure. So how do you play? I think you'll have to explain the rules to me first. Okay. You play with the blue pucks and I play with the red ones. You have to push the pucks with this stick into the zone over there and score as many points as possible. Sounds easy. How many pucks do I have? Six. Now here comes the kicker. First it's your turn, then mine, and so on. But everyone is allowed to shoot the other person's pucks out of the zone. Mm. Interesting. Then let's get started. Oh yeah. What are we playing for? Uh, I thought we'd just play for fun. Oh? That's boring. We have to bet something. Otherwise, it isn't fun. You English people. So I'll bet my brand new slingshot. And you? I don't want to gamble. How about ice cream in Cairo? Okay. If I win, I get the slingshot. Yep. If I lose, I get an ice cream in Cairo. Hey! Never try to cheat Matt Miller. So, what do you say? Ice cream versus slingshot? Mmm, all right. Let the games begin. You almost got away with it there, Zelna. You almost got away with it. Now, you sort of use the mouse, you click with the left mouse button, and you drag. Now, that should be enough. Oh, that was way too much. That was way too much. But that was a good shot. However, if I aim, say, there, I can knock it away. Yeah! No points for anyone! <laughs> no points for anyone. We shall have zero points scored this match. No points for anyone! Is 
that a 6 or a 10? That would be a 10. Ah, that did not help at all. I think I'm going to lose now. Oh no, I could just knock them all out, can't I? No points for anyone! Oh, I missed. Missed horribly there. I have so very much lost this. Unless I can just hit all of these. Like that, say. Nope, definitely lost. Definitely lost. He's really good at this game. I lose. Oh dear. Rats. Haha, -ha, I win. That's one ice cream for me. You've been practicing. He has. One more time. This time, I'll win. Nah, I doubt that. We will win, do not worry. We just don't want to hit it so hard. See, that is way too hard. However, he will try and aim it over there. And what we want to do is we want to hit it not too hard. Like, say, maybe that... There we go, we just want to knock his out for the moment. And then... He has indeed been practicing. This could be difficult, I think you actually just need to really start with a good lead. See, right now I'm just trying to stop him from scoring, rather than me actually scoring myself. He's really good at this! I'm not gonna give up though, I am going to win. We need, to, well we don't need to win, but I want to win in this. See, I've just got to hit it just light enough that I knock his out, and yet I keep mine on. So far, no one has scored anything. It's really good at getting them into the, uh, ten points part. <laughs> no one has scored anything! And now he just needs to score any points, and he's won again. I just need to score points, that's what I need to do. Oh... I win again. That's another ice cream. He's gonna get a lot of ice creams by the end of this. This time, I'll win. Nah, I doubt that. I'm sure. Now it's time. Let's not hit it a lot. There we go, we're actually scoring points now. See, now we're scoring five, and he's gonna try and... Now, if we can aim away... If we can aim so that he's not scoring any points there... There we go, now we're scoring five, and he's scoring zero. See, if we could just knock all of the other, um, of his shots away, we'll win. Because he's probably not going to aim for the one in the middle. Or he is going to aim for the one in the middle, and that's going to be annoying. However, we can work this to our advantage. Well, not by doing that, we can't. We've just made it so he's now scoring 10 points. Now we just need to really hit those quite hard. Like, say, that. It's got rid of one of them, but it hasn't got rid of the other. And I only have two more of the, uh... Two more of the bucks. So, what if we were to hit our own? Aha! So now we have 20 points! Now what I need to do is just hit his... Oh, he has one. Oh. I win again. That's another ice cream. The funny thing is, is that when I played through this game, um, I played through bits of this game before, and this one, this bit, I just... I won first time the first time I did it. This time, I'll win. Nah, I doubt that. This time, I might as well just buy him an entire ice cream truck, the rate this is going. Right, so if I do that... That. Okay, it's only a one right now. However, he has just made it into a ten. So I don't actually need to aim for that. I'll just go here and instead get more points. Like, say... Thank you! <laughs> There's a good plan he's got going here. Now, is that a ten or is that a six? We've got twenty-six points right now. In fact, we now have nearly 30 points, I think. Oh, we only have 20 points now. Just need to push that a little further. 
There we go, 36 points. This is much better. This is much better. We're just going to aim over here now, because we don't actually want to change what's going on. Another 10 points? I think I've won this time. I think I've won this time. Pretty comfortable win. That didn't help at all, that one. And then the game changer. Nope, pretty sure I've won. There we go, victory. That's it. Oh man. The athlete wins the day. One more time. No, that's enough for me. All right. I'm sure we'll return it. Here. Are you sure? Gambling debts are debts of honor. Oh. I'll give it back to you when I don't need it anymore, okay? Okay, but make sure my mom doesn't catch you with it. She thinks it's dangerous. That is a bit of a hint about what we might want to do with that. We could, uh, talk to Constable Oliver, though. Perhaps there's something we can, uh, do there. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, what do you want? Inspector Legrand is questioning the first of the passengers in the saloon. And? It will be hours before he gets to the stowaway. And? We'll save time if I question Don't think that's going to work. We'd also save time if you stopped asking me the same things over and over again. I will not let you in. What time is it, by the way? Got an appointment? No, but I'm hungry. Go and get yourself something. I'll mind the door in the meantime. That's not going to work either. Aha. Uh -huh. You could bring me something, though. Ooh, I could. So, what do you want to eat? Oh, anything. An apple or something like that. There's ham and eggs in the saloon. Ah! <laughs> Can't touch them. Why not? Sergeant Mills. Hmm? He's responsible for the fitness of the unit, and he'll chew you out if he thinks you've packed on a few pounds. I see. Leave it with me. Yeah, thanks. I think we shall. And I think by that, we're probably going to get you ham and eggs. Also, we have a slingshot. A good slingshot. Drawing on the expert knowledge of generations of boarding school students. And combined with the stones, there are countless opportunities for making mischief. There are. Like destroying the water bottle. There's a plan for this. Trust me. You do need to do it. All right. How good a shot are you? Ow! 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 Ah! Hmm? Hey, Zelda, what in blazes was that? Was what? What? Something hit me! You mean, someone shot at you? Yes, well, no, I, I don't know. Didn't you notice anything? I was riveted by the fantastic view. Sure you we were. We Swiss aren't used to seeing the horizon like this. And my bottle's broken too! Oh, I don't believe this. This is the worst day ever. Worst day ever. Let's give the slingshot back, shall we? I think we've done all we need to with this. S Matt. What? Here's your slingshot back. Really? Thanks. You're welcome, but... Hmm? You should put Constable Oliver on the list of people who'd better not see it. I... ah... Uh, I understand. Fair don't enough. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Good man. You don't actually... You don't actually have to return the slingshot, by the way. If you don't return the slingshot, um, I don't think you get... I think you'd actually gain points for handing it back. Just like you gain points for handing back the uh, hairpin. <laughs> Now, as we said before, we could indeed get him an apple or something, but we found out earlier that indeed there were ham and eggs in the saloon car. The saloon. Not the saloon car. Well, they probably were ham and eggs in the saloon car, but we're not going on the Orient Express just to get Constable Oliver breakfast. We will, however, get him ham and eggs. Whatever Constable Oliver wants, he's getting ham and eggs. And I'm sure he'll like it. And just a pinch of salt for our friendly constable. That's more than a pinch. That's... That's a lot of salt. <laughs> a 
That's a lot of salt. Constable Oliver. I'm surprised that didn't spill when you did that. Huh? Ham and eggs, piping hot. Oh, I, I, I shouldn't really. I don't see anyone here who'd rebuke you. It was a hard night. Yeah, true. There you go. Oh, mm, delicious. <laughs> mm, just enough salt. <laughs> That's a lot of salt you have on your food. <laughs> mm. Oh, that was good of you. Cheers. No you problem. don't expect me to wash your dirty dishes as well, do you? Of course not, Your Majesty. <laughs> ah. Could you, uh, could you bring me something to drink? Those ham and eggs were pretty salty. They were. I'm sorry. I have to proceed with my investigations. Goodbye. And the scheme works perfectly. He needs a drink. He's got nothing to drink. Let's see how long he can resist his thirst. Not long is the answer. Not long. There he goes. Not long at all. Let's go down and question the uh, the captive, and do other things while we're down there too. There he is. Hello, sir. Nervous. I would be too in your position. Hello. Who are you? My name is Adil, and you are... Constable Zellner. Hello. Why did you sneak onto the ship, Adil? I wanted to go back home. You're Egyptian? There's no work for me in Italy. I want to see my family again. And since you don't have money, you stole away. So what if I did? Mm. Why did you knock me out, though? So... It was you who knocked me out. Me? <laughs> Never. No? Where were you when I was attacked? Well, I couldn't take anything with me on this trip, so I uh, snuck into the kitchen and took some canned goods. Interesting. And how do you know when I was attacked? Well, I, I thought it was yesterday, shortly before we set sail. I take this bump personally. Yeah, I don't think this man's telling the truth. What were you searching for on deck last night? I was hiding the whole evening. I wanted to go out and get some fresh air, see the stars. But then suddenly, they were looking for me. Were you in one of the cabins? No! Did you see anyone on the deck or on the roof? No. And after we arrested you? The English policeman put me in this cell. Then he left. I've been here ever since. And you didn't notice anything along the way? No, nothing. Hmm, what about the shot? What about the gunshot? Didn't you hear it? Uh, yes, the English policeman had already arrested me. We heard a bang and looked around. And then? Then, the Bobby was in a hurry to get rid of me. He almost pushed me down the stairs and locked me in here. He left and, and then a short time later, the alarm went off. Constable Oliver wasn't with you anymore when the alarm went oh. off? Oh! No. I was scared that the ship would sink with me sitting here like a rat in a trap. Hmm. It's hard for me to believe a single word of your story. Because I'm a foreigner? Because you seem to have learned our language in the space of a day. Accent free. Believe what you want. What about a distraction? Who paid you to distract us? What? You went for a walk around the deck and let yourself be seen. Everyone goes off hunting you, and in the meantime, your partner shoots the Baroness in peace. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't want to distract anyone. I, I just want to go home. You're a liar, and a bad one at that. But sir, I'm telling the truth. And I'm the Raven. Inspector Legrand will deal with you. He's lying like a cheap rug. But he probably doesn't know anything about the murder. Very disappointing. So I have to keep searching. What interests me most is the shot that was fired here in the cargo hold last night. Hmm, we might be able to recover that bullet with the ice tongs. No, the bullet hole is too small for the tongs. Oh. Well, we're going to have to try and get that. But how? Maybe the stones? 
Whoever fired the shot hit the crate. Hmm. Perhaps we need to get access to the, uh... Hmm, perhaps we need to get access to something else before we can get in there. Some tweezers would be really useful, but I highly doubt we're going to get any of those anytime soon. <laughs> the cargo hold also seems to serve as a... at least for the ones who... Let's... is there anything a in here? of luck. The lock is open. Anything in here, though? Ah. Mm. Oil-stained overalls. And a toolbox. And here, an old toolbox. Excellent. It's been through a lot. Hardly any paint, dented, and the lid is held shut by a wire. The wire is useful. I'll take it with me. The wire is very useful. Hmm. Some wrenches, a bit of wire wool, an oily cloth, and here, a screwdriver. We could use that. Marvelous. That's what we need. A well-used screwdriver from the toolbox. I don't see anything special. We can use the screwdriver to get the bullet out. Excellent. We need that bullet. We need that bullet. Well, I think the bullet is still in the wood. And I think we're about to get it. I'm not a weapon specialist, but at first sight, I'd say that this bullet looks exactly the same as the one Dr. Gebhardt gave me for Legrand. That would mean that the murderer also fired a shot here in the cargo hold before the murder. But why? Good question. Did they just want to make sure the old guns still worked? Or was it something else? And did the bullet really come from the same gun? I can only check that in Legrand's cabin. And I think we're going to have to go to Legrand's cabin to find out. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. For when we come back, more investigating. More investigating. And a little more investigating just to spice things up. So far, almost anyone could be the Raven. Even Zelna! Nah, Zelna can't be the Raven. He's trying his best to actually stop the raven. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Maybe you're the raven! Maybe anyone's the raven! The car is the raven! It all makes sense now.